I guess I don't. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Darby the Vlog, coming to you guys with a brand new uh, video. Today is going to be a discussion video. Um, so, going to be talking about probably the hottest news this year for sneakers is the Chicago Ones and the Pinnacle Ones are being taken off online release by Nike Store. So they'll only be available in retailers and then on other retailers websites like finish line champs east bay by the time you guys will be watching this the release is passed it's all happened you either got them or you didn't get them you can fight the resellers um, or you can just not accept the l like a lot of sneakerheads are doing um, however i just wanted to talk about it how i felt about it um, i wanted to get you know you guys leave your comment your opinions in the comments um, try to keep it as civil as possible i know shit like this really can get you heated. I'm, I'll start by saying I'm, I'm pretty pissed about it um, because this was like the biggest, I don't know if you guys can hear me, this was like the biggest sneaker release of the year for me. Um, you know, this was the number one shoe on my list this year. Um, if you guys haven't watched my vlog that I uploaded uh, the other day, go watch that. I do talk about how I went to every shoe store at my local mall and the only place that got the Chicago ones was the Foot Locker and they raffled off every pair. So for me and people in smaller like rural areas and places that don't get a lot of those Jordans, because it really wasn't until like maybe three or four years ago when where I'm from up in Nebraska um, really started getting Jordan traffic coming their way. So um, for me, still when we're not getting a ton of shoes um, in the market, for me, online on Nike.com was really the only way that I was going to get them, and I'm sure a lot of other people around the country were. And it really, it really is pretty sickening to me that bots have really ruined it. Um, I'm not mad at Nike um, at all. I think that you know them making steps to getting rid of bots and getting rid of stuff like that is is vital in my opinion because you know I feel like. People don't, like, you know, people are so obsessed with just, you know, you got dudes online who can cop eight pairs of the same shoe and then resell them for triple the amount they're worth. That's just bullshit to me because, like, there are people who, who you know, really want them or have saved up their money or, you know, kids who have, like, saved up their money who, you know, want to get them and you're just going to get them and flip them for $800. Like, that's bullshit to me. And you know what? Like, I get it. I understand the appeal of reselling, but straight up, if you're a reseller, fuck you. If you're a reseller and you're subscribed to me, unsubscribe to me because you're a fucking asshole. Excuse my language. But um, I think it's a power move. I think that Nike really needs to, you know, work on finding a way to to stop that, to not for that to not be a thing. Because resellers really, in my opinion, are the poison of um, of the sneaker world. And I mean. With Jordans kind of coming up in price already, like at almost $200, a lot of people are passing on Jordans because, like, now $200 for a shoe, that's really, really steep, especially even though it's remastered, you're still kind of getting bum quality a lot of times. I mean, the only Jordan that I've caught this year was the uh, Columbia 4s. The quality's awesome, but from what I've seen from a lot of the other releases this year, quality has not really been at that level. And so... I mean, I just feel like already at 190, it's steep, and then for them to just completely take it offline as an option is really one of those things where it's like Nike's not playing around, and I think that's awesome. I'm I'm pissed at the fact that resellers and like bots have become this big of an issue, um, because I because I think that's such a that's just a, a cheapskate way to get sneakers. For me personally, the half the fun of shoes is like actually like getting the shoe. Like I love the camp outs. I love the stress of being online, you know, having all the windows open, trying to get them. Like, I love that. I think that's the best part of shoes. Um, and so, you know, a lot of people are like, why don't you work at a shoe store? Because then you could get, because that takes away half the fun. Like, why not just put them in the back for me? That takes away half the fun. You know, the fun of everything is, you know, not knowing if you're going to get them. And what sucks about this is, like, that. what sucks about the bots being such a problem, what sucks about this situation is, now you just know you're not going to get them because you're not even given the option. That's And that sucks. That really does suck. Um, 
However, you know, I really hope Nike doesn't continue this with every Jordan release um, because it is going to make getting Jordans a lot harder. I, I try to avoid the raffles. I try to avoid the bots. I avoid, you know, the early releases. I try to just get them on, like, release day because that's fun to me. Like, at the end of the day, shoes should be fun. It's not that serious. You know, I know that everyone's like, you know, got to get them for the Instagram and got to get it for Twitter. But, like, shoes are not that serious. And if you're not having fun with it, then don't get it. You know, that's why I'm here making videos. That's why I'm here getting shoes because I love shoes. I think it's fun. I'm doing it for me, you know? And so, I mean, like, it just, and it just sucks that there are people who are so obsessed with just having the coolest shoe collection and making the most money out of sneakers that they're ruining opportunities for people like me and probably a lot of people who subscribe to me and a lot of other people on YouTube and people just in the sneaker culture and community who want shoes because they want shoes, not because they want to, you know, be cool and have the most money and have the coolest shoe collection because none of that shit really matters. Um, it's like, this is going to sound corny, but you can have all the shoes in the world, but if you're not doing anything positive, like, with, with yourself, then, you know, what's the point? And it's not that important. But I'm totally off point. I'm trying to get back to this Jordan thing. I really hope that Jordan brand doesn't continue to do this because it really does hurt people like me. I love Jordans. I love Jordans. I love Nike. I love Saucony. I love all brands, and I but I really do love Jordans, and it really does suck that this has happened, and I really do hope that Jordan brand can figure this out before, um, you know, before things kind of fall apart or before more releases start happening. So, like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. I just wanted to put this out there and just kind of talk about my opinion and, and how I was feeling. Um, so just let me know in the comments what you guys think, you know, how you guys feel about it. Are you angry? Do you think it's a good move on Nike's part? And then um, also if you got, don't tell me if you got the Chicago ones because seeing people with the Chicago ones is like the saddest shit of all time. Like that is terrible. Like seeing people get them and I'm like, man, I didn't even have a chance. Like I had no chance in hell of getting these, but other people did. That is a shitty feeling. Don't do that. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments and you know, I hope I can do this more often when cool, when like sneaker things like this happens, like big news happens, because I just want to share how I feel and I want you guys to be able to do the same. So it's Dog with a Vlog, and I'll talk to you guys super, super soon. Peace! Shut up! Oh, you mad?